hello wonderful audience i'm so excited to do this today because today i'm going to show you my day-to-day -day runnings and part of my daily activities as i juggle on my job also in my previous video i took you through the process of effective discharge part one and part two which is the theoretical aspect of it but today i'm going to practicalize what i do on daily basis so get with me as we go on this ride as i take you through the practical process of effective discharge of petroleum product from start to finish i'm so excited to do this as i take you on this journey let's go and uh, today i'm going to take the practical aspect of this discharge uh, of petroleum product like i said in my two previous video of part one part two today i'm going to do the practical aspect of it and in that particular aspect, first of all, you do is to get the wavy. Now, this wavy tells you where the product is coming from, the quantity that is there, and where it was destined to be. So, like on this wavy now, this tells us the loading date, it gives us the product in place, which is PMS, and the quantity, which is the 2000 liter, and what we are going to discharge. Now, this is a chart. Uh, in every onage, you need a chart to ascertain the accuracy of your onage. So we are going to use this chart and compare with this um, way bill. Now, aside from that, the other things we need to do, I mean in discharging, first of all, we'll set up our safety, which is the extinguisher, okay? The trigger are in place. One of the very key important things we are going to use in this discharge is this. This is the color paste. This color paste is what is used at every tipping stick, whether it be in tipping stick, be an OLED bar. This this is called OLED bar, okay? So this is an OLED bar. You know, in my brother, I say OLED bar is a T, it's a T bar. So look at it. So it's it's formed like T, okay? So we're going to use this color paste. When you're doing the OLED, this is what you use to apply no and take the dipping so that way it gives you a proper cut and tells where the product is cutting this one is water finding paste so for this product like you get there might be water in it so this is what will show us where there's water in it so this has to be applied also on the liquid high bar now another one is the liquid high bar yeah. you can use this to ascertain the liquid height of this truck Okay, and most importantly, this is eight wire. Eight wire is two edges. In my previous video, I talked about it. It gives you a very important. It plays a very important role to this role. Where these two heads will one will be connected to the trunk and one to the underground storage tank. This will help you to you know hold back in case of any emergency this is what you start that proposal so now get ready with me as you go on this ride okay production that the crew now going to commence the discharge so first of all this is a truck you must be careful while climbing this truck and um, this truck is filled with petroleum products so you have to be smartly dressed to be able to climb the truck so that's me on my way climbing the truck so with the crew now they have to be a representative of logistics the guy is holding a sword that sword is to um, get all the underground the compartment seal cut off so we are now set to take the ollage so that is the olage bar, which I have said in my previous video, that is a tea bag. That olage bag will be laid at the olage point where the product is and then we'll read the figure. That figure has to be agreed by both parties. You can see that the truck driver is writing, the other representative is also writing. Then after the olage uh, has been taken, we take the liquid height. So that's the liquid height. So I'm using a color paste here to take the liquid height so for you to effectively get the liquid height parameters it's important that you support yourself with a tape 
you can see me holding the tape the tape will help you to read accurately what you have measured so we are done with compartment one we have moved to compartment two also i said in my theoretical video that a truck is into three compartments so every compartment has its own quantity so this is 50,000 capacity and we have just taken the second compartment OLH. After the OLH taken, we go also to the liquid height parameters taken, which is what we are also doing now. Then the same thing we did in compartment one is what we are doing to do in compartment two. And we have just taken the liquid height parameter. Then we are going to compartment three to take the same parameter as what we have done in other previous uh, uh, compartments. So we are almost done taking this foliage, then we'll also take the liquid height and measure it. Like I said, the parameter has to be agreed by both parties. That's why you can see the truck driver having his own pen and paper. We also have our own pen and paper so that all the agreed parameters will be written down. So that's the liquid height and the tape we are using we are done with this exercise so we are all going you know to comment the process so that's me coming down from the truck you know i'm coming down from the truck you have to be careful climbing and coming down from the truck because this is a truck filled with petroleum product please for safety purpose it is a truck filled with petroleum product so and it's also important that you dress smartly you know while you're discharging you know? so that was just a good one so now look at the forecourt the forecourt is clear the pumps have stopped they are not dispensing switched off we collect sample from the three compartments so we are done with compartment one we are doing for compartment two right now and then we'll do same for compartment three it's very important that you take all samples now the essence of this sample is that in case of water or vapor what a water finding piece may not honorarily pick it will show in this bucket so it's a practical um, process now we move to the discharge before um dipping before discharge so this underground storage tank has a very deep manhole so that's why i'm inside so when you have such underground tanks you have to go inside to be able to and for you to have accurate you know dipping and we are using the color paste you know to take this dipping so that's me there dipping before discharge now the dipping before discharge will give you an avenue to know what you had in tank first before these products are taken down and those those figures have to be agreed at all times you cannot discharge in isolation those figures have to be agreed between yourself and the underground uh, the truck driver. So we are done with that. We are now pouring into the underground tank the sample collection. After pouring the sample collection, you set up your hose. Now this hose is set up. Now also look at the, the underground tank. You can see that the earth wire has been connected. The earth wire has been connected from the truck and also to the discharge point look at the earth wire there extinguishers are set up the earth wire is there you know taking its place now this is dipping after discharge for compartment one so when you are done discharging you allow the product to settle then you come and dip after so that's me using the color paste on the dipping stick now this dipping stick is what we show now also there's something a technology called atg that i install in tanks those are also measures that can be used to ascertain the product and discharge but for this practical aspect for people that haven't been into the business and easy to understand the dipping stick is what we are using dipping stick most time is being considered as the most accurate yes because these pieces are calibrated for this stance. So that's me they're dipping after the successful discharge of the first compartment. So I have to also agree with my partners, which is the logistics. Now, I want to disclaim here that phones are not allowed in the course of this video. That's a truck driver. I told him that he should please no phones are not allowed, but we just have to agree on the figure. 
that has been tipped so i told him to go and bring his flashlight which he has brought and we are using it to dip the second compartment now this second compartment we are dipping is dipping before discharge so what we did in the first compartment is what we are going to do in the second part compartment and the third compartment respectively. So at this point, they've all taken off their phones, they brought uh, the flashlight, also this one is using a power bank that had you know, light in it and the flashlight is what we are using to get the figure of dipping before discharge. So after that is done, you just safely drop your dipping stick look at me dropping a dipping stick now i took the earth wire from the first compartment to the second uh, com, uh, underground tank you have to connect this earth wire to every underground tank that is receiving the product at that point so that is me now telling you that second compartment is flowing we are done with second compartment and we are now at the third compartment we are also taking a dip at the third compartment before discharge and i'm using the color paste again color paste is a very important tool in every petrol station for every dipping for every product uh, 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 dipping a color paste has to be used now if you check very well i have also brought the head wire to this third compartment this third compartment will now give us the accuracy of what we have been doing the exercise so far this will tell us how far we've gone and whether this product is complete or not so this is me the truck driver his motor boy and others now we are done with the discharge and we are successfully you know doing the draining now this draining is very important you do it for all compartments after discharge because some they may have some leftover of products in it so we've done for one two and we are the third one now guess what look at what we are getting at the third one have you seen have you seen have you seen so if we had just ignored it this product will be taken back so it's important that you drain and drain and drain and all drainage will be taken into the underground storage and so that's me there flashing the light for them you know to put to drain all the product into the underground storage tank now when this is done we have to give it for a while to settle down product settle down then we come back for dipping after so, guys, so at this, this point now this is the final dipping one of this compartment, one, one, compartment two, two and we are dipping so compartment this three this will give us the, the result of what we have been doing so far it's also interesting to know that an effective discharge takes over three hours three to four hours for you to dip wait discharge wait dip after go to compartment so you know you need to give ample time for this product to settle down so this is what we are doing now this is the final dipping and it's been an interesting time this evening oh my people why not like this video you want to learn more no problem now this is we signing the way B. This way B is very important. You will sign the way B, you stamp the way B and give a copy to the truck driver. So the truck driver is very happy because his product was complete both on the liquid height, both on the haulage parameters, station parameters, station haulage. All was complete. Now this is me saying bye. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.